book a while ago which was called Queer Sex. And when I started that book, I definitely identified or saw myself as being a trans woman. And then through the process of writing the book, I realised that there were certain words I'd have to give away because it felt like I was doing work to inhabit them. It felt like I had to do work to inhabit the word woman. Whereas I never had to do any work to inhabit the word trans. Trans I did brilliantly, I did naturally and I did authentically. Okay, so I don't know that I follow everything she's saying, although I kind of get it. Um, it's interesting though because I'm not going to deny, yeah, I'm a trans man for sure, but how relevant is that in my day-to-day -day life? It isn't, okay? As, as far as anybody can tell, when I step outside the door, like, I'm just, I'm just another guy. Um, unless you personally know me or we're going to date, you're not really going to know that. Um, so it's kind of just odd hearing that. Also, I don't know anybody, you know, maybe there are people out there, but personally for me, I never saw transition as a way to go from, you know, like, female to trans, uh, you know, and I don't think anybody out there is thinking of it that way, but may, again, I could be wrong, but that's kind of odd um, to me, like most people transition because they're going from one to the other, um, especially if we're talking about specifically transsexuals, right? Transsexuals are, are very much binary. They're just going from, you know, point A to point B. That's it. Um, now, if we're talking about like non-binary or, or anything beyond, uh, you know, just a transsexual, then yeah, there's different things that they're doing and I can't, I don't get it, can't relate, whatever, but my point overall is I don't think, I would say most people don't look at transition as a way to, to you know, um, to pass as trans, like, um, that's bizarre to me, but I, I don't know, you know, maybe this is her way of coping with who she is, which is, which is fine, I just, for me personally, like, you know, all these things only matter in certain conversations. Again, like, you know, if I go to a store to grab milk, are people just looking at me because I'm trans? Or clocking me at all that I'm trans? Generally, no. Like, I I can't remember the last time somebody clocked me in, you know, out in public. Like, that hasn't happened in a very long time. And, you know, and this is coming from somebody who hasn't had surgery yet, but like I just assimilate as much as I can and I pass and it's not a big deal. So, you know, another, another thing too is like when I'm, you know, when I'm grabbing something at the store or, or driving, you know, down the street, like I'm in no way am I like thinking about myself in, in this trans way, right? Like I don't, I don't think of it like that, you know, unless there's some awkward possible situation coming up, then maybe I'll think, oh shit, like I'm trans, right? But generally like that's not something I'm thinking about. I'm just like, existing as a guy like i'm just living my life you know i'm not thinking 24 7 when i'm out in public oh my god i better act like a dude like it, that's not a thought and i'm also not thinking shit i better make sure people know that i'm trans they, they got to be able to like see that i'm a trans you know like it's just weird um but you know what I, I will just keep watching this maybe she's gonna say something that makes a little bit more sense but so far to me personally i don't get it and again like just to be clear i understand that i can't you know transition from female to biological male as much as i wish that was the reality i know that's not possible i know that there's cer certain things i can change and i know there's certain things that i can't change but personally for me i've never been like okay gonna transition from female to trans or from female to trans man that was never my thought um it's always you know from female to male as much as i can transition to male is was my goal is my goal whatever um and yeah like so but i don't know i could be i could be wrong maybe she'll say something that i completely get here in a second not sure but when i woke up in the morning i was trans when i went to bed at night i was trans when i dated i was trans and that allowed me to occupy my body my genitals my sexuality my sense of self in a much more kind of rounded present way okay so yeah when i eat breakfast i'm trans when i go to sleep i'm trans when i go to the store i'm trans uh like i i, I guess i kind of get where she's going with this um definitely seem like they were struggling with the trans part of them um, throughout transition. And to me, that's probably why it, it is important to make peace with, you know, certain things before you transition, like certain things that you can or cannot change regarding your biology. And then, of course, certain things that are just going to always be a reality, right? That, that we are trans and that makes us a little bit unique, different, whatever. Um, and yeah, I don't know. It just seems like 
they sort of had a hard time figuring that out. Um, but uh, let's just keep keep watching this video, I suppose. Even after surgery, I didn't feel any any more like a woman than I ever felt like a man. And my genitals really just felt, always felt like they were transgenitals. And, and, and they weren't particularly tied down to any gender. Because, you know, I had a, 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 a genitals that looked like a vagina, but they were made of cock and ball skin. All right, not gonna lie, I'm genuinely curious as to why they chose to get surgery. Because as far as I'm concerned, um, you don't get surgery to 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 then have like trans genitals, you know what I mean? Like again, this is kind of going back to the first point where they were talking about how they're they're trans and that like they want to basically this whole video is they no longer see themselves identifying as a trans woman, but just trans. They're just a trans, which is which is odd. Um, I don't think I've heard this take before. And again, like that's a very tiny part of who we are. Um, I can't really relate to what they're going on about. And again, like, it's very interesting to hear somebody talk about how they didn't really feel like a woman or man even after getting, like, bottom surgery, which I would think at that point you're getting bottom surgery because you're absolutely certain that it will complete and um, alleviate dysphoria, also, you know, help you kind of maintain you being a man or woman um, as much as possible. Now, like, I, I'm not gonna jump to conclusions here. I don't know if this person has dysphoria or not. Like, I'm not going to speak on their behalf. I don't know why they got surgery. I just, you know, I, I'm just comparing it to transsexuals that I know and get surgery, and I never hear this from them. So, I mean, if, if, uh, if I didn't know any better, I would think that this person's, like, non-binary. But I don't know that they are. I just, the way that they're talking about, you know, not being a man or woman, the way that they're referring to their, you know, their genitals and all this, like, it's just so different from hearing a trans man or trans woman talk about, you know, them being a woman or man and also why they get surgery and what surgery does for them after the fact. Um, so, yeah, and uh, they refer, the way they describe their, you know, their genitals, um, I, I guess I kind of get what they're saying, you know, um, but again, I just feel like it would it would be such a mind fuck to me personally if I got bottom surgery and I saw it just like that, like I just considered, you know, my penis just being a trans penis or, or whatever. It's just, it's a little bit bizarre. Like, I mean, I, I, I could go off on this, but I'm not trying to insult this person. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to understand where they're coming from. And again, like, I can't help but wonder if what would have happened if perhaps they found a way to cope with who they are and their body prior to getting the surgery because it seems like they did it a little bit backwards. They, they dealt with who they are after going through like an entire transition, um, which again, I just don't recommend people do this. So I had to give away the word woman because, you know, as much as it gave me comfort, and I could walk down the street and say, you know, I'm a woman, I'm a trans woman. Actually, it didn't honor my transness and it didn't center my transness. So I always felt like I was having to do some work to be a woman. I mean, yeah, that's literally the whole point of transitioning is to be seen as, you know, a man or woman in society. Now, I, again, realize that there's not binary people out there that kind of uh, toy around with the idea of transitioning. And by, by that, I mean, they kind of like, transition for a few months, stop transitioning, transition like two months later, because they want some changes, not all changes. They want to appear to be non-binary, you know, like that's their way of being non-binary. Not every non-binary person, okay? I'm not saying they all do this, but clearly it's something that a lot of them do, um, which again, like for me personally, just speaking on my behalf, um, I wouldn't be transitioning if I didn't in some way think that I would, um, you know, assimilate as a, as a man in society, which is the overall goal for one and two, the other part of it being it alleviates dysphoria, which it has for me. Um, it's kind of weird to hear somebody, again, that has like transitioned all the way to bottom surgery 
say things like, you know, that they were confused and didn't, they, they felt like they were putting too much work to being a woman. And I mean, yeah, that's, that's overall the point. Um, because some people in the community, not, not everybody, want to say that being a woman or man is just simply an identity and you don't have to put any sort of work into your appearance. But those people are typically the ones that get misgendered, typically the ones that are just not taken serious as, you know, being a man or woman, which is what they claim they are. Now, I'm not talking about men and women in society that, you know, were born as men and women, but I am focusing on just transsexual people, transgender people. And, you know, for us to want to basically be taken serious and be seen as a man or woman, yeah, there's work that comes in doing that because we weren't born as the uh, opposite sex that we want to be, right? That we identify as, that we feel as, that we feel more connected to and disconnected from the sex that we were born as. Um, so yeah, there's going to be work to to accomplish this, which again, I can't relate to this person. It seems that they put in all this effort only to come to the conclusion that it, they felt like it was too much work or whatever. I mean, yeah, obviously. And the, the process of transitioning would save us and deliver us to a kind of binary place. So for me, I just felt like I was at that kind of stop-off point always, and that trans was the, was the word that honoured me and honoured my experience, and also gave kind of breath to me, gave, air, gave me air and energy. Okay, so transgender just means, you know, you don't identify with the sex you're born as, right? And the, the whole trans part, like we say trans because it's short for transgender. So, and it's, it's really just an adjective. It's just telling you, you know, it's just adding to who I am. Like, yes, um, in society, right? Like, in my day-to-day -day life, yes, they see me as a man. But if I'm going to be specific with somebody, somebody that I, I get personal with or, you know, whatever, like, I would say trans man to add to who I am and so that they are aware of that difference if I want them to be aware of it. I'm not saying everybody has to do that, but in those circumstances, it matters to me to let somebody know. But as far as trans and, and just kind of honoring that part of me, I feel like that's something that I, I made peace with and honored very, very early on in transition, probably well before that as well. Um, just kind of knowing that, you know, that's never going to be erased from me. Like, that was important to me. I feel like everybody should should make peace with the fact that you're trans and that doesn't go away. But again, like your day to day life, it, it just it doesn't really become relevant. Now, somebody kind of going through transition and getting bottom surgery and then coming out of it thinking that they aren't a woman and they are not they're not a man either. They're just trans uh, trans being kind of like this um, identity that is weird to me like I, I still don't really fully grasp that for them but of course like you know i'm not going to tell them not to to see it that way uh to each their own however it is a little bit bizarre you know what i mean like i'm not gonna lie like trans for somebody to kind of just see themselves as trans you know like and not have something added to that like trans woman trans man or, or whatever like the whole trans thing just it, it almost makes it seem as though like this is their personality like everything they are is just trans, which, I mean, I don't feel like that's accurate, but to each their own. For me personally, like, the trans part isn't relevant in most places in my life. It becomes relevant in certain conversations and or with personal relationships. But otherwise, I mean, why would I keep saying that part of me? You know what I mean? Um, so it is a little bit weird. Um, also, just to be clear, like, I didn't make this video to trash on this person. It was I just thought it was interesting um, that they no longer saw themselves as you know a trans woman, but just trans. Um, I don't think I ever seen that take before. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I can't relate. I don't know if you can relate, but I can't. Um, I definitely feel like it's good that they've come to a point in their life where they've made peace. But I also just don't think that trans should become all of who you are, your personality, personality, your identity, whatever. Like, I feel like we we are more than trans. You know, like there's there's more to us than that. Um, I also would say like you know I'm Hispanic, but that's just a small part of me. Like it's not all that I am. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't know. Just I guess 
to end this on a slightly positive note here, I, I would say, you know, make sure that you truly come to peace with who you are and understand why you're going to transition before you get to that place, you know, and, and yeah, just, I don't know, think things through. Don't come out of transition and then realize, hold on a second, I don't connect to man or woman. I don't, like, this is all weird and I'm just, I, I'm, I'm just like this other thing. Like, I just feel like people should really take their time and know why you're going to transition and how that's going to impact your life after the fact. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you for watching this video. Everybody take it easy and peace out.